Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you a couple of soldering techniques that I use when I create my jewelry. Um, I'm going to be using sterling silver solder today and I'm going to show you how to pick it up with your solder pick, how to um, melt it into a crease and attach a ring, and I'm going to show you a couple little different techniques that I use. I guess you could kind of call them hacks. So the first technique I want to show you is how to actually pick up your solder with the solder pick. Um, so I like to use wire solder and today I'm going to be demonstrating this with um, medium wire. First thing you're going to do is to come right up to your piece of solder and heat it with your flame. Keep your flame about a centimeter away. Um, so if this is the white part of your flame, I would keep your flame at right about this distance. And then when you get up to your solder, you're going to let it form into a little ball and then take your heat off for a second roll your pick around and you'll be able to pick the solder up with your solder stick. And that's the way that you'll be able to move it around from one surface to another. All right, now I'm gonna demo a little hack on closing up a ring with solder. So the first thing I'll always do is dip my ring into my flux and just get it fully covered in flux. And then I will clip off again, a little piece of wire solder, set it on my solderite soldering table and then i will take my flame and i will again go right up to the solder and heat it until it curls up into that little ball then i'm going to set my ring directly on top of that ball and the crazy thing about solder is that it's attracted to anything hot so with enough heat it will actually crawl right up into that little crevice and um, create a full ring if you can see, I'm just gonna show you a little bit here so it might be a little bit easier. I picked it up because um, it's already attracted to the metal and then as I heat this area back and forth, it just kind of flows right into that crevice. And um, so you can actually use the metal ring as, an, as a way to pick up the solder. And the last soldering technique I'm gonna show you is just a way to combine parts and basically build a shape on your soldering board. So I'm going to again, make sure that I add a little bit of um, flux to the spot where I'm planning to attach the two pieces. I'm using just brass rod in this, but I'm still going to use um, sterling silver solder wire. I'm using medium. And what I like to do is create kind of a little bit of a hill shape like this, if you can see it. And then I'll take that little hill and I will set it right on top of the spot where I'm planning to um, to solder. Sometimes I'm using uh, rod that's a little bit thicker, so that's why I just kind of use this shape. Um, it usually can fit right over the spot that I'm planning to solder. So then you're gonna come again with your flame right over that spot where you wanna solder, and you'll see it just kind of forms a little bit of a ball right in front of it, and it's kind of going to end up just curving right into that seam and it stops you from having to use the solder pick it's just a super quick and easy way of attaching two rods and we'll just keep that heat there and as you can see it's just completely attached those two it's super quick and easy so those are three quick soldering hacks hopefully this saves you a little bit of time and energy and again i will link all the materials below uh, for you